Thanks very much. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Dan and this is Ada, um, and we're going to explain to you briefly what our project is all about. So, um, let me set the scene for you. We've just had a disaster hit Haiti, an earthquake has just happened and there are field hospitals being set up everywhere to treat all the injured patients. The field hospitals themselves are going to be extremely stressful, very fast paced and very unique in their requirements. The, the people that are going to be under-trained under and that field hospitals might be also be understaffed. The World Health Organization is also struggling to keep track of what's going on and gather statistics. So our project is a care system um, for field hospitals to aid the doctors there and to aid data collection for the WHO. So how do we go about it? We started from the current system that doctors have form-based for, uh, form systems where they just work through paper forms. We wanted to make it mobile, so we put it on Android mobile phones that doctors can have in their pockets. Um, we also wanted to make it extremely customizable. Due to the very specific requirements of each field hospital, we wanted doctors to be able to create whatever sort of forms they wanted. Lastly, we wanted to make it very interactive, so that the forms could guide the, guide the doctors through diagnoses and make suggestions based on the data available. So we needed a very flexible data model, very customizable interfaces, and a <laughs> seamless background synchroni synchronization between the Android systems and the computer. So Dan talked a bit about the design. I'm going to try to explain how we actually implemented it. So as you mentioned, the form-based system is the most important part of our project, probably. Uh, this is the form creation interface, which you'd basically be seeing when you open it on the main computer in the hospital would be a workspace and some side panels with already defined elements. So you could go about creating the structure of your form by simply adding new sections, adding new fields, drag and dropping existing components, tailoring them for exactly what you want, and so you define the structure of your form. The second step, which actually adds the interactivity and the more interesting and helpful part, is actually defining transitions. So transitions are simply conditions that you put on the field you've defined. So based on the data that is in that field, you might suggest going to a different form. So you can see on the right side panel, I've added four conditions. I specified exactly what a type of answer I want for them. And then I've suggested a form and given a description for that suggestion. When you're done with creating this, defining the structure and defining the interactivity, you simply save it. If you think it's a final version, you publish it and the synchronization module will automatically distribute it on all Androids and make it available to all doctors. So once, it so once it's available on the Androids to all the doctors, what can the doctors actually do with it? Well, the first thing they need to do is to create patients as they're admitted to the field hospital. Once this, is, once this has been done, they need to complete forms to record the data for those patients. They can view previously recorded data for each patient, and they can add medication and treatments to each patient. Okay. Um, at least as a theory. I'd like to actually <laughs> say what we've achieved. So I'd like to start by saying this is a project we're really, really excited about for two reasons. It's very real world, so we believe it could make a real impact. And, and because of the extreme conditions in which our software would be used, it has a very strong human component. So usability and customizability are the two things we've been designing for. And how we went about designing was talking to doctors and finding out exactly what they need, talking to researchers in medical care systems, just looking at the World Health Organization website and trying to understand the problem. And we came up with a design that we're actually very proud of. We feel it's creative. We haven't seen something similar in the open source systems we've looked at. The downside of that is that it didn't look very doable in six weeks. So we had to sort of prioritize components. We started by implementing our flexible data model. Um, that's obviously structure for everything else. And indeed, we have a fully functional backend implementing this data model. We then focused on the form creation, form creation, which adds the customizability and interactivity. And I've shown you an interface that implements that form creation. We then created proof of concepts which work but aren't quite fully fledged for the synchronization and for data visualization. And finally, are still keenly in development on the Android component. So this is our project. I hope you've enjoyed it. And thank you very thank much. You very much.